Hi, you see, this is Kostis, and this is my entry to Damon Talks Records uh, thread uh, about showing uh, 10 perfect albums. Uh, I would suggest to head over to his channel. I will leave a link in the description below. He's uh, very new to the VC, just like me, even uh, a newer member, but he is very interesting. Uh, uh, guy and uh, shows uh, lots of great music so please go check him out and su subscribe as well and yeah the topic of the thread is uh, to uh, show uh, 10 perfect records and uh, I will start I will go chronologically and we'll start at the beginning uh, meaning the beginning of uh, heavy rock and heavy metal music uh, well, not quite the beginning because in 1970 Black Sabbath had the, their debut album already out, the eponymous Black Sabbath record. But uh, I think uh, Paranoid, uh, their second record uh, in 1970, is equally if not greater than the debut. Yeah, uh, this of course is a reissue. Uh, not in the gatefold but it actually sounds quite nice i mean i even you know every track is a classic i even uh, like the uh, small instrumental rat salad yeah it just yeah it's fantastic uh, little instrumental um maybe i could say that uh, side two is the most favorite of mine i mean uh, side one has war pigs paranoid uh, planet caravan and iron man all yeah just you know if ever if there ever was a classic uh, heavy metal song it would be paranoid or war pigs or iron man and uh, you know uh, planet caravan is such a trippy psychedelic uh, track but uh, the side two with Electric Funeral, Hand of Doom, uh, Rat Salad and uh, Fairies Were Boots, it's just, I don't know, it's more like um, um, more heavy psyche, uh, more, I don't know, more jazzy maybe. Yeah, it's just uh, fantastic. I, I really enjoy listening to side two more. And we move forward from uh, heavy metal to uh, the beginnings of uh, punk rock. We go to 1977. This is television's uh, Marky Moon. Yeah, uh, this is an Australian copy. Uh, too bad it's here's an ugly sticker, but yeah, I won't try to you know uh, take it off. It will ruin the record more. Um, yeah, just classic uh, debut album or uh, probably the f the best debut album of all time for me uh, see no evil uh, venus friction marquee moon uh, elevation guiding light prove it torn curtain uh, every single song for me is just perfect yeah and the uh, electra labels and moving on to 1980 Joy Division, Closer, their last album, second and last album, of course, on Factory Records, also a reissue. Uh, I think uh, most people uh, tend to uh, prefer the, the first record, um, Unknown Pleasures. Of course, it's a great record, but I don't know, I, I prefer uh, Closer a little bit uh, more. Uh, it was the first record I ever heard by Joy Division, maybe that's why. And it's sonically more varied, I think. Uh, maybe it wins me over just because of that. Uh, more and more experimental, you know, like uh, some goth influences. Nice gear from here. Yeah, just more varied. Yeah, and decades the last song is just haunting with uh, is that Melotron? I'm not sure can't remember yeah just haunting song 
and uh, onwards to 1981 and uh, from the UK we go to Greece yeah uh, so uh, this is uh, Lena Platonos uh, a pioneer of electronic music uh, uh, pioneer of experimental music in uh, Greece uh, this is her first record uh, Sabotage, Sabotage, I think I've shown that before in some video, maybe. Um, this is, uh, um, I could call this like post punky, proggy, synth poppy, um, experimental electronic music. It's uh, all over the place, uh, but uh, it actually comes together in some magical way uh, the later albums by Lena Platonos were more synth poppy and uh, electro based and uh, easier to you know uh, maybe more uh, less weird maybe but this one the, their first one is your first one it's just a perfect album every single track for me is uh, like wonderful yeah I would guess it it would be uh, a hard listen for non Greek uh, Greek speakers but the music is uh, really nice and actually the vocals in uh, this one there are two singers uh, the girl is Savina Yanadu a really excellent uh, singer uh, who uh, has done so many different things from avant-garde music to uh, world music and uh, Jans Palamidas he this guy was in a prog rock band and hard rock band he, he has also done experimental stuff but really great vocalists I mean even heavy metal uh, vocalists cannot compare to this guy uh, Yanis Palamides, I mean, he, he has a crazy range, vocal range. Uh, and we go to the US, 1983, if I'm not mistaken, Black Flag, Damage, perfect punk rock uh, record. Uh, yeah, I was, I mean, I first listened to this in the mid uh, 90s, in my early teens, and it was a record that had come out uh, 10 years uh, no more than 10 years ago maybe 15 years ago or something and uh, I was still floored by how it sounded and uh, yeah just perfect I mean yeah it's just a classic uh, record actually uh, 1992 this is uh, Aphex Twin his first record uh, selected uh, ambient works from uh, 85 to 92 yeah the, another classic uh, electronic music uh, record this uh, remastered version from uh, uh, 2006 uh, yeah everybody I think uh, who is into electronic music knows about uh, Apex Twin uh, he's, he's such a pioneer of uh, electronic music this uh, this particular record he uh, has uh, you know ambient stuff uh, stuff that is uh, influenced by uh, early acid house chicago house uh, ambient techno stuff yeah just idm stuff that would you know later be called I idm because this is one of the uh, seminal IDM uh, records but it was uh, out too early yeah just fantastic um, moving on to 1994 and I had to pick a, a heavy metal record black metal actually and uh, I was between this and uh, Dark Throne's first uh, album uh, but I chose to go with uh, Transylvanian Hunger yeah Dark Throne probably my most favorite uh, heavy metal band uh, yeah. of course uh, Black Sabbath is my most favorite heavy metal band but after them it's Dark Throne 
yeah, a seminal uh, uh, black metal record. The way this sounds just, you know, uh, created, uh, helped to create the Norwegian black metal sound and uh, influenced so many others uh, coming after uh, Dark Throne and the early second wave black metal bands. Uh, this is so minimal and uh, repetitive, but it, you know, the, the whole sound is like uh, listening to an ambient uh, record or noise record that uh, has some uh, weird uh, kind of earworms and uh, you can't get it uh, off your uh, head. Yeah, just, just fantastic. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the 2000, 2005, I'll show this CD, uh, the band is called uh, uh, Le Fin Amoureuse, it's a trio, but uh, one vocalist and uh, two uh, uh, cello and uh, violin uh, uh, players, uh, all uh, women, a women band, all girl band, sorry. Uh, the record is called uh, Marion Le Rose. Uh, so this is a very interesting record. It has never been uh, out on vinyl, uh, sadly. Uh, it's a collection of songs from uh, uh, from French songs, traditional French French songs, from uh, songs uh, uh, Sephardic songs, meaning uh, Judeo-Spanish songs from uh, way back, uh, some songs uh, probably date to the 13th century or something. It also has some uh, uh, religious uh, hymns or something, uh, some uh, uh, Arabic songs and the music from the Ottoman Empire, uh, traditional uh, uh, stuff as well, and they all mix it up uh, the Emmanuel uh, Drouet, the singer, she sings in uh, many different uh, languages, uh, even in the same song. She mixes it, mixes it up and it's just, uh, you know, uh, spellbinding in my opinion. Such a unique uh, blend of so many cultures and different sounds. Uh, Totally recommended. It is. Uh, it was released in Alpha Productions or something. It's quite hard to get if you ever see this, or uh, you can maybe f try to find it on YouTube. You should uh, really give it this a listen. And moving to the 2010s, uh, this is probably my favorite record from the de from that decade. It's uh, the duo from the US, Belong, uh, their second album and uh, their last al album actually. They haven't released anything since uh, 2011 when this was uh, uh, released initially. This is Common Era and it's, it has um, nine songs, all of them just perfect. This is a seminal uh, uh, shoegazy record but you if uh, shoegaze uh, was you know uh, combined with something like uh, joy divisions closer which i uh, showed earlier uh, you know great guitars uh, great effects uh, the vocals all are also like uh, through some uh, weird reverb and yeah just uh, yeah just fantastic record and, and great cover as well and it was uh, out on cranky yeah totally recommended to anyone who is into shoegaze and uh, we skip a decade 10 years to be exact and i've shown this before this is poison ruin my new favorite band uh, this is the compilation of their first two EPs that were originally out only in cassette uh, format. Uh, the first one and the second one, they compiled it into a full-length LP. 
Yeah, this is just fantastic uh, punk rock mixed with uh, new wave of British heavy metal and uh, uh, anarcho punk influences and uh, even dungeon synths. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. Uh, fantastic, yeah, yeah. I can't really express it in another way. And the good thing is that have they have uh, their second uh, full length uh, coming soon. Uh, Pre-orders are, uh, are already uh, on. I think they changed the record label. They have now sign signed to Relapse Records, which is a, yeah, a very big label actually. In the, uh, metal uh, world uh, this was uh, yeah my copies from uh, the english label uh, drunken sailor records but i think it was uh, first released in the us by urge records or something yeah definitely one of my favorite records uh, of the uh, new millennium yeah and uh, for sure my favorite record from 2021 so that was all 10 perfect records all according to me of course and uh, please head over to damon's channel and uh, check it out bye